I'm Marty McGee. I'm the senior resident Superior Court Judge in Cabarrus County, Judicial District 19A. At the beginning of the pandemic, we had to try to figure out how to keep court going. And so we reached out to our county IT folks. And through trial and error, we eventually found a system that we could use where we could see and hear everyone and uh, continue to conduct business. And we got to the point where I thought it worked pretty, pretty well. But the CRAVE system, when it was installed, was certainly a step up from, from where we were. Under the old system, I had to plug in my laptop and, and I was constantly worried about the technology, is it working? And uh, with the CRAVE system, uh, it does away with that. When you walk in the courtroom, it's on, it just works. And so I'm much less concerned about the technology and I can just do uh, the work that I'm, I'm there to, to, to take care of. Anthony Whitmore, Chief Technology Officer with the Judicial Branch. In layman's terms, it's a video system for courtrooms in the North Carolina uh, court system. It is the courtroom audio video experience uh, system, acronym is CRAVE. Typical courtroom is going to include at least two high definition monitors uh, some display somewhere within the courtroom, um, depending upon the physical layout of the courtroom. There is also going to be microphones and speakers throughout the courtroom, prosecution, defense tables, as well as the judge's bench. Um, there's also going to be uh, cameras placed depending upon the layout of the courtroom, typically two, two robotic type cameras that allow for tracking of whatever sound is going on in the courtroom. Um, there is also going to be a touchpad type device that would allow the judge to be able to control both the WebEx session. Uh, we use WebEx as our video conferencing infrastructure and that also allows the judge to stop any video or any audio that needs to occur. My name is Van Shaw and I'm the Sheriff of Cabarrus County. The CRAVE program is a, a audiovisual uh, program where we are able to um, utilize audiovisual to have inmates be able to have hearings here locally in the jail and remotely at other correctional facilities uh, in, in relation to the court. Um, so it helps us in being able to not have to transfer inmates in and out of the courtroom as well as having to travel across the state and bring inmates back for what may be a very brief hearing. Uh, the largest advantage that we've seen has been, has been the significant decrease in the amount of transports that we've had to conduct over the past several months. Um, it keeps us uh, from having to make long trips to bring an inmate back for a very short court hearing. Uh, it keeps us from having to transfer inmates from the, from the detention facility into the courtroom. So uh, we keep them in a safe environment. We have less worries about uh, escapes confrontations, those types of things. Uh, so it really is a much more efficient utilization of resources. Uh, and in times when all sheriff's offices across the state are struggling with uh, you know, manpower levels within our detention facility, this is just an, an extremely good way uh, to best utilize those manpower resources. I'm Todd Shanley, I'm the CIO of Cabarrus County. So during the pandemic, Cabarrus County supported the court system with video solutions to be able to make courts run. I think the long-term goal of this is to be able to do that across multiple jails, not just uh, shortening that distance from across the street, but shortening that distance from across the state so that inmates don't have to trans be transported from Raleigh, from the coast, from the mountains, to be able to have a very short court appearance and be able to do that in a very quick process. So that is our goal from a technology standpoint, is to be able to, to support that and help that implementation go forward. I think the initial big gains are gonna be from the Sheriff's Department. They're not gonna to have to transport folks from their jails to the courtrooms, and that's particularly helpful to places that their jails are not connected uh, to the courthouse. So, there's not only the, the, the savings of the expense saving, but it's certainly safer. So I think it's a great opportunity. It is a, is a great system that allows you to do your work without focusing on the technology.